Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to our last spring session of Yoga with Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me these past few weeks. It has been so much fun to be able to continue to share yoga with you. And um, so we'll get started with our last class for the spring session. We are gonna get started lying down on our backs. So lying down in Shavasana. So we'll start and end class the same way. So find your way to your mat or the floor or the grass if you're outside and go ahead and lie down flat on your back. And as you are lying down, extend your legs out in front of you. Allow the palms to face up and allow the eyes to close if that feels okay for you. And just begin to settle in and notice your body. Notice your breath. Notice the parts of your body that are resting on the ground. And then bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. Press down firmly enough so that you can feel your heart beating, but not so much that it feels constricting. We're gonna start class with a three-part breath. We're gonna fill up the space under our hand where our stomach is first, then we'll continue breathing and fill the space behind our heart, and then we'll hold it, and we'll breathe out in the opposite order. So we'll let go of the space between, behind our heart and then our stomach. So we'll get started. Breathe in, fill your belly. Keep breathing, fill your heart, hold it, and then slowly breathe out your mouth. Let go of the space behind your heart and then empty your belly. Hold it on empty. Again, breathe in, belly, heart, hold, breathe out, heart, belly, hold on empty. Last one like this. Breathe in, belly, heart, hold, breathe out, heart, belly, hold. Maybe you blink your eyes open. Engage the legs and Place your feet with your toes extending towards the sky. Activate the muscles around your bones. So you should feel your legs start to come alive. Maybe wiggle your toes. Extend your arms up, palms facing each other, and then behind your head for a full body stretch. And all of your muscles should feel engaged. Take a deep breath like this, and then let it go. Bring your right leg into your chest and give it a little squeeze. Circle out that right ankle, point and flex the toes. Just inviting space and movement into our joints. And then we're gonna do small hip circles. So you'll gently allow your right hip to move around in the socket, just ever so gently. This shouldn't hurt at all. Nice job. And then you're gonna hug both knees into your chest. Maybe rock and roll a little bit side to side and then switch legs. So the right leg will extend long and the left leg is now hugged to your chest. And again, give it a little squeeze. 
Circle out that ankle, one direction and then the other. Maybe point and flex the toes. And then small hip circles. Moving that leg carefully around in the joint. And then you're gonna extend that leg long and up and see if you can bring the other leg up to meet it. It is okay if your legs are not completely straight, right? Maybe it feels better to have a little bend in the knee. Point your toes and then flex your toes. It's okay to hold the backs of your legs also. Point, flex, and then maybe circles one direction and then the other direction. We're gonna do a little core work to start our class today before we sit up. So, we're gonna lift our shoulders and our neck, and we're gonna do little bicycles. Maybe you have done this before. So you bring opposite elbow to opposite knee, and your legs are moving as if you're doing a bicycle. We're gonna do this for 10 seconds. Ready? 10, nine, eight, Seven, you got this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Nice job. Maybe rock and roll a little bit side to side. Maybe it feels better to rock up and down, up and down. And then you're gonna meet me in a seated position. Down a little bit. All right, reach your arms out to the side and up, activating and energizing through your fingers. And then stretch your arms out to the side. Bring your right hand down by your right hip. Lift your left arm up and over for a side body stretch. Maybe the eyes gaze up. See what feels best for you. And then switch. Bring your left hand down by your left hip. Reach your right arm up and over. Make sure you are breathing. And then once more, switch. Right hand down, left arm up. And then switch. Nice job. And come back to center. Bring your hands to your heart and pause for a moment. Maybe catch your breath. Maybe feel your heart pumping. Beautiful job. We're going to interlace our fingers and bring them behind our head to kind of cradle our head and thumbs can come down your neck. We're going to do a little shoulder strength. So if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can just rest your head in your hand. Whatever feels best for you. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Our belly is engaged, which means we're pulling our navel, our belly button to our spine. And then we're straightening our spine as much as we can. Strong and straight in the back. We're gonna open up our elbows on a breath in, and on a breath out, we're gonna close. So breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Reminder to sit nice and tall. Breathe in, breathe out once more. Breathe in, and breathe out. And you can shake that out and let it go. Nice job. Bring your hands to one side and come to hands and knees, tabletop position. Shoulders above wrists, all 10 fingers pressing down into the ground. And then knees are hips width distance and hips are over knees. And then toes can either be tucked or untucked, whatever is comfortable for you. Spine is straight, head and eyes are looking a little bit forward. 
on a breath in, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your hips, lift your head, or cow pose. And on a breath out, arch your spine, drop your head, tuck the tailbone for cat. Breathe in for cow, and breathe out for cat. Nice job. Lift your right leg out behind you. Drop the toes to the mat and slowly rock back and forth to get a little stretch in the back of that leg. Lift the leg, bend it, and we're going to stamp the ceiling five times. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Bring that leg back down and bring your hips to your heels and rest in child's pose. Take two deep breaths in and out here. Two rounds of breath. And then when you're ready, come back to tabletop position. And now we're going to switch and do the left leg. Switch your left leg up behind you, drop the left toes, and slowly rock back and forth, back and forth, opening up the muscles the back of the leg. And then you're going to lift the leg, bend the knee, and then you're going to stamp the ceiling five times. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. This time, just bring your knees back down, and we're going to open up behind our shoulders a little bit. We're going to lift the right arm and open up, and then bring that right arm up. Open up. Nice job. And then reach it through. This is called threading the needle. Last time, reach it up and then reach it under. See if you can grab or touch that left shoulder. Last time, reach it up and then bring your feet back down. Now, you might need to come back and give your wrists and your arms a break for a minute. You can shake it out, maybe stretch circle. And then when you are ready, meet me back in tabletop position. And we are going to switch sides. This time, the left side. So you're going to press down into your right hand, support your weight there. Make sure you're pressing down into your knees and your shins so that that takes some of the weight too. Lift up your left arm and then thread the needle, bring it through and tap. Reach up, thread the needle. Reach up, thread the needle last time. And then reach that left arm up and bring it back down. One round of cat and cow. So cow, drop your belly, lift your head, lift your tailbone. Breathe out for cat, drop your head. Talk your tailbone. From here, you can tuck your toes and lift your knees and your hips for downward facing dog. If you know that you don't like downward facing dog, you can meet me any way to get to standing position. If you're in downward dog, press down firmly through your hands and your feet. Maybe pedal out the feet. Then one knee, and then the other. And then slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands, and you'll end in a forward fold. And I'm just gonna turn so I can show you, you can stay where you are. And then slowly roll all the way up. Let's jump. All right, check your feet. They should be about hips width distance pointing forward like an 11. And then our arms are long, palms facing out, down by our sides. Reach those arms out and up, palms touch, hands to your heart. Reach them down, out and up, palms touch, hands to your heart. 
last time. Reach them down, out, and up. Palms touch this time. Open up your arms, bend your knees, and fold forward. Slowly roll up, back to standing. You're gonna separate your feet out about the length of one of your legs, it's about three feet. And we are going to do warrior two on each leg. So we're gonna tap our left leg. We're gonna turn those left toes forward. And our back leg, our right foot, is also gonna turn forward a little bit at about a 45 degree angle. Our hips and our chest are open for themselves. Right, they're not facing forward, they're facing more open. Arms come out and then bend into that front knee. Make sure your knee is tracking over your ankle. You don't want it in or out too much. To protect the knee, make sure it's right over your ankle. Stuff. Take a deep breath in here. And then flip your front palm and reach it up and back for peaceful warrior. You should feel a nice side body stretch. You don't want to go too far, right? Just a little. Yep. Imagine you're getting longer as you're going back. Job. Bring that left arm to your left thigh and reach your right arm up side angle pose. Press down into that back foot just as much as you are the front foot. This helps to even out the weight. Nice job. Maybe the arm reaches overhead for the last breath. Maybe you look up at your fingers and then straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Come on back. So this time, your feet are parallel and they're facing forward. You're gonna stretch your arms out wide, but this time put a bend in your knees and you're gonna fold forward. Wide straddle. Maybe your hands rest on your legs. Maybe they rest on the ground. Maybe you just let them hang. Make sure your knees have a little bend in them. Let your head relax. And then slowly roll all the way back up. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Turn your right toes out and bring your left toes up just a little bit. You might need to shorten your stance a little. Hips and chest are open, arms are out by your side, and then you're bending into that front knee. Now you're carefully looking at your knee to make sure it's not going in or out and then it's tracking, which means it's right over that right ankle. Arms come out by your side. And we'll pause here, two breaths. And last breath out. Flip your right palm and reach it up and back. So we say up and back so that your spine is getting longer and you should just feel a little stretch in your side body. Nice job. Maintain the bend in that leg and then bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Reach your left arm up. Side angle pose. Stop. Maybe for the last breath, you reach that left arm over your left ear. Maybe you gaze up at the fingers. And then come all the way back up. All 10 toes face forward. Nice job. All right, bring both your feet back to center. We're gonna bring our arms forward, bend our knees for chair pose. Hold. Bring your left arm forward, keep your, I mean, sorry, your left arm back, right arm forward, and twist to the left. Stay into your pose, come back to center, arms up, and switch. Right arm back, left arm forward, face the right. Maintain the chair. I know your legs might be tired, but that 
that is good. Come back up to center. Stand up and rest. Shake it up. Nice job. Okay, last standing pose. We are going to come to the back of our mat. start with our left leg. You're going to take a giant step forward. We did warrior two and now we're going to do warrior one. So left leg is forward. Right toes are either up at an angle like this or your heel is up. Your choice. This time our hips are going with our legs, right? Our hips are imagining they're coming forward. Our chest is imagining it's coming forward, and our arms are going forward and up, bend into that front. Nice job. Make sure you are pressing down into that back right foot as much as you are pressing down and bending that front left leg. While you're here, cactus out your arms, bring them back, down, forward, and up. Once more, cactus out those arms, back down, forward, and up. Let's try something. Lean a little bit forward, so most of the weight is in your left leg. See if you can bring that back foot up to meet the front, and land in chair pose. Give it a try. Stand all the way up, and then switch. Last side, tap your right leg. This time your right leg takes the giant step forward. Nice job. Right toes facing forward. Left foot can stay up on the ball of your foot or you can seal the heel down at an angle, right? Hips are imagining they're coming forward. Chest is imagining it's coming forward. Not forcing, but we're just imagining it or inviting it to come that way. Bend into that front right knee, arms come forward and up. Take a deep breath here. Open up your arms, cactus your arms, bring them back, down, forward and up. Great job. Once more like that, cactus up the arms, back, down, forward and up. Okay, here we go. Last thing. Maybe you tilt a little bit forward. Most of your weight is now in your right leg. See if you can bring that back foot up and land in chair pose. You can do it. Nice job. Stand all the way up. Shake it out. Great job. Okay, we are going to come to lying down. So, hands up. Bend your knees, sink your hips for a chair. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you sit a little bit lower. Sit a little bit lower. Sit all the way down. Nice job. Come to lying on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Nice job. All right. Bring your right knee into your chest and extend your leg your left leg out long, or you can plant the foot, your choice. We're gonna straighten that right leg and we're gonna hug it just a little bit closer. So we're stretching out the back of our leg. It's okay to have your leg back. If you want more sensation, you straighten the left leg. If that's too much, keep it that. Hug that leg, make sure your toes are flexed to protect your knee. And then we're gonna switch. So hug both knees in, extend the right leg long, hug the left knee in, and then see how your left leg feels. Respect to differences in sides, right? So one leg might be a lot tighter than the other, and maybe you have to bend the knee on this side. I do. Flex the toes. All right, nice job. Bring both knees in for a squeeze. 
Allow your legs to fall over to the right side of your body, just for a simple twist. Hug both knees back into center. And then switch sides. Bring them over to the left. Back up to center. And then extend each leg long. Allow the arms to rest down by your side. Palms facing up. Maybe you close your eyes. And we end class the same way we begin. Notice and feel your body heavy against the earth. Feel gratitude for showing up today. And for your body, showing up for you every day. One last thing if you want, take one deep breath in. And then open your mouth and sigh it out. Shavasana. Begin to invite some movement back into your body. Wiggle fingers and toes. Step one foot and then the other onto the mat. Roll over to one side and then come on up to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall, bring your hands to your heart. It has been such an honor to be able to share these practices with you each week. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so proud of all of you and I miss seeing you in person. I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you, friends. I hope that I will see you over the summer for our summer yoga classes. Um, and until then, take care. Thanks, everyone.